Welcome to the Joy of Music. Today we bring you another in our series, Great Moments of the Joy of Music. Of the over 280 programs produced in 12 years, many of the highlights have been in playing the great organs of the world. Today we feature some of these outstanding instruments. We begin with the four organs of the Freiburg Cathedral in Freiburg, Germany. Unique in the world, this cathedral houses four separate organs, all playable from one console. And what an incredible sound. Another unique organ of the world is the St. Jacobi Church in Hamburg, Germany. On this historic Schnitger organ, Bach wants to audition for the post of organist, but unfortunately did not win the position. One of the most fascinating aspects of the organ is the series of carved faces on the stop knobs. And who are these faces, you may ask? Well, as you might imagine, they are the faces of the organ builder, the pastors of the church, the people who gave money for the organ, and even the face of the devil is found on the tremulant stop. We were fortunate to play the organ when we did, because following our taping, both the pipes and the casework were being removed from the church for a complete restoration, which was to take four years and two million dollars. As you can imagine, the organ was very difficult to play.
Another inspiring experience for us all on the Joy of Music was taping in the famous Canterbury Cathedral. With its important position in history, we were especially excited to play Pomp and Circumstance by the favorite English composer, Edward Elgar, who satisfied the English appetite for splendor and dignity. our great moments program featuring organs today we must include the Muller organ of the St. Bavo Church in Harlem Holland built in 1737 the casework rises 90 feet high on the side wall of the church and even though there is electricity to light the music one can play solely by candlelight both Mozart and Handel visited this church to see and play the organ, and it is therefore known as the Mozart organ.
In Strasbourg, France, we find one of the awesome cathedrals of the world. And no less striking is the organ which the cathedral houses. Built by the famous organ builder Andreas Silbermann, the console and pipes hang precariously on the side wall of the church. Just to reach the organ, one must climb 130 stairs, go out on the roof of the cathedral, and in an old creaky door just to get to the organ loft. It was almost impossible to have two cameras, audio and lighting equipment, all crowded together. But what a thrilling experience in sight and sound. Not all the greatest organs in the world are the largest ones. One great moment of the joy of music was visiting and playing the oldest playable organ in the world in the Fortress Cathedral in Sion, Switzerland. Again, with music, equipment, cameras, and lighting, when we finally reached the top of the hill and the fortress, we were almost too tired to work but we spent the day discovering the unique beauty of this ancient instrument, dating clear back to the 1300s. Another great moment for the joy of music was taping and recording in the amazing 
Air Force Academy Chapel. Both the chapel and organ are modern in design and lift us to the beauty of the mountains which surround the Academy. Always a great moment for the Joy of the Music program is to play a stirring hymn on these monumental organs. As in the case with all of these majestic instruments, they are built to praise and glorify the Lord, to lead people in worship, and to point all who listen to their Creator and Lord.
thank you for joining us today on the joy of music as we have brought you great moments of the joy of music featuring famous organs of the world oh praise ye the lord praise him in his sanctuary praise him with the organ let everything that hath breath praise the lord thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you again next week on the joy of music